Hi, I'm Melanie. Welcome to the Personal Microderm Training Session. We're here today to make sure that you know everything you need to know about operating the new patented Personal Microderm tool. During your treatment, the Personal Microderm will use a tool that passes a fine disc coated with aluminum oxide crystals over your skin. The intensity of treatments is highly focused and easy to control with two different disc sizes and two different protective caps that will adjust the vacuum controls accordingly. Simply use once every week for smoother, younger looking skin. You'll see the results immediately. Right after your microderm treatment, you'll be amazed at the improvement in your skin texture. Age spots, fine lines and wrinkles will start to disappear and acne scars will become less noticeable. Skin that had a thick, dry appearance will look soft and supple. Microdermal exfoliation is a safe and very effective way to renew, restore and rejuvenate your skin. If used according to these instructions. We're here today with Jane who's going to show us the motions and procedures that will lead to the most effective use of this powerful tool. Jane, thank you for being with us. Oh, it's my pleasure. Well, let's get started. First of all, it's important to note that everyone has a different skin type. Some skin types are soft and sensitive, and others are coarse and tough. Before you begin your treatment, make sure that you test your skin type to learn how it will respond to the personal microderm treatment. If the disc seems to create a light pink spot quickly and easily, then your skin may be on the sensitive side. If you find that the disc takes longer to create a light pink spot on your skin, you may need to be more aggressive and take more time in one area, especially on troubled spots like your hands and elbows. Choose a location on your arm or under your chin on the side of your neck to test the tool. It's very important to know that spending too long in one place may cause irritation and create a scab. Do not hover in one spot. Please pay careful attention to your specific skin type so as not to grind too deep. Step 1. Connect the cord to the unit like this. Turn the connector one quarter turn until it's locked into place. Step 2. Make sure that the disc size that you've chosen is placed tight on the shaft like this and that the correct size cap is being used. The large body cap for the large disc and the small facial cap for the small disc. Use the small disc for tight spots around the nose and forehead or where your bone structure makes it hard to obtain suction with the vacuum. The large disc should be used for the body and larger areas like the arms and chest. There are two grit types on the different color discs. The blue disc has the moderate grit for more sensitive skin and use on the face. The green disc has a more coarse grit for more aggressive treatments and tougher skin types. Use the disc that best suits your skin type and needs. We suggest starting with the blue disc and then gradually moving to the green disc. Step 3. Wash and cleanse your skin. Make sure that it's free from all makeup, dirt and oils. Dry it well before you begin your treatment. The dry surface of your skin allows the microdermal exfoliator to work to the maximum effect. Step 4. Begin the treatment by pulling your skin tight with your fingers or hand to create a smooth surface. This will allow the personal microderm vacuum to pull the skin tight to the disc and bring the blood flows and collagens to the surface of the skin. This blood and collagen are the life force where the cells receive vital nutrients. The suction and vacuum used with the personal microderm is part of why it works so well. Our patented system was specifically designed by microderm experts who know and understand the science behind the function. Once you have a good bond on the skin, move the disc across and upward over the surface. It's a lot like vacuuming your carpet. As you make straight line motions, you'll most likely see a pattern forming across the skin surface, giving evidence of where you've already been. The skin around the eye socket is very sensitive so be careful never to go above the cheekbone or below the eyebrow when applying the treatment. You'll see little white flaky dead skin on the surface where you've applied the treatments and a light pink color may appear on the skin surface. This flaky dead skin is the stratum corneum that we're skimming off. The stratum corneum is the thin layer of dead skin cells that prevent the lotions from penetrating deep into the surface of the skin. Wow, 
I can't tell you how good that feels. My skin feels soft and refreshed, and it happens immediately after the treatment. If you're treating the back of your hand for age spots or around your nose, we recommend using the small tip. Work the tool back and forth over the trouble spots like Jane is doing here. You should see your dark age spots start to diminish in just a few weeks. Step 5. Once you've completed the treatment, wash the dead skin off your face. Then, use a toner to neutralize the pH balance in your skin. This prepares the skin for the recovery moisturizer and or cell renewal serum. Using a good toner and recovery moisturizer is a very important part of what makes this system work. Microdermabrasion without the daily application of the lotions and serums will not give you the results that you're looking for. It takes the entire regimen of both the treatment and the lotions to activate and achieve great results. Please remember that. Apply the recovery moisturizer once the toner is dried. Make sure that you cover all the areas that have been treated by the personal microderm. Your skin will be extra sensitive to the sun for three to four days after each treatment. Wear sunscreen daily during the entire course of the treatments. This is important. We recommend that you wait five to six days before using the personal microderm again. Give your skin time to rejuvenate and allow the cells to recover. This is what will make your skin look and feel soft and gorgeous. Typically, the first sequence of treatments should last 10 to 12 weeks. After that, you may want to cut back to twice a month for two to three months and then down to once a month for maintenance. This, of course, will depend on what you're trying to achieve and your skin type. Now that you've completed the treatment, it's a good thing to take good care of your tools. Step six, clean the unit before you put it away. Take off the cap and disc and remove the little white filter. Please clean this filter by running warm water over it and rubbing it between your fingers and thumb. This small filter is what keeps the dead skin from moving into the vacuum system in the tool. Replace the disc with a new one after two to three treatments. Depending on how long you take to complete a treatment will determine how long a disc will keep the grit. The aluminum oxide does wear off after normal use. Order new discs online at www.personalmicroderm.com or from the place that you purchased your tool. Use your personal microderm to resurface your skin and discover the secret to younger, more supple and soft skin. Thanks for watching. For more information, white papers and studies, please visit www.personalmicroderm.com.